in a quaint little village not far down the road from Shakespeare's hometown, at an inn that's about 500 years old, we meet a woman who, let us say, has a way with vegetables. I'm known as the world's only asparamancer. Wait, 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 say it again. Asparamancer. But I make predictions using asparagus. Really? Yes. I'm the only one in the world. That's quite a distinction. Jemima Packington is her name, and she's created a bit of a sensation, because what she predicts tends to happen frequently. Every December, I make about 10 or 15 predictions, and then we see how we go. British Album of the Year. Nice big A there. Adele! There, go, Adele. Two, there is a three. big A there. Yeah. Brexit, royal babies, the burst of the Bitcoin bubble. She's called them all. When I was a small girl, we were sitting around eating asparagus, and I'd actually predicted something. I can't even tell you what it was, but it was afterwards, when I was getting into my teens, they actually explained I had an old aunt who used to read tea leaves. Right. So she could read and make predictions, and they, they think that it skipped a generation, and it came to me. We stepped outside to give it a try. Has anyone said or suggested to you that you might be a bit eccentric? Always. I'm glad to be amongst their number. Hmm. It would be a poor world if we were all the same. If you want your future told, the process is simple. This is predictions just for you. So you could say the future is in my hands. It is indeed. Just toss and learn. You have a very, very busy picture here. The asparagus indicated possible conflict and future travel. And no, I'm not going to tell you the rest. But I had one more question for the woman they call the mystic veg. So assume for a moment we went to dinner tonight. Yes. There's a plate of asparagus yes. that's served. Yes. Do you eat it or does it speak to you? I eat it. I eat it because I'm, I'm off the clock. Which she says speaks to the versatility of the delicious green spears. The good thing is, once we finish the reading, you can then take the asparagus home, run it under the, the faucet, and then cook it and eat it. <laughs> A prediction you can have for dinner. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Cheers. Cheers. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Eversham, England.